Hi everyone, this is Jamie Sorensen here with Two Peas in a Bucket with another personal shopper video sharing my product recommendations in answer to your um, project requests. So I've had questions before on um, mini albums and I've done a mini album before but those were more on the albums themselves. I wanted to do another video for you. Um, I've had a questions about what to what kinds of products would be good to be used in mini albums. So I'm going to answer that today with a lot of cool and exciting new products. Um, starting out with these little mini baggies from Whiskers Graphics. We have them in a few different size, sizes and several different colors. I have the smallest size here and they're just 25 cents so um, they're really fun to stock up on and all your favorite colors and patterns. These would be great to tuck memorabilia, tickets, notes in, um, extra little pictures, um, all kinds of different things. And then you could even punch holes in them and put them right in a mini album binder or um, stick them down, create a little, little pocket with washi tape and have them um, folded in there. So lots of different possibilities. This is the small size. Um, this is a size of what the medium looks like. And I think we have this, the actual sizes in the product descriptions. So you want to look for those. And then the large size is even bigger. So I've just pulled a couple of the colors. We have lots of different styles available. Um, so those are fun for mini albums. We also got in these cool paper clips and I think paper clips work great for mini albums because you can just kind of um, layer pieces and notes and memorabilia and stick things together holding them with different pieces. These are little arrow clips. You can have things sticking out of the top or the sides of your album to just kind of add more interest. These are cute little speech bubbles. So you get 50 in a pack in these new sets from Kickerland. I think I'm pronouncing that right. These are cute little hearts and these are actually in red and pink. We also, these are sealed so I can't take them out, but we also have a lightning bolt set which is fun. And those are 50 pieces as well and they come in this cool tin. Also from the same company, we have these cool new sticky notes. So you get a stack of notes um, in different shapes and sizes. And this is the talking bubble version. We also have them in hearts. And here's another speech bubble version, but these have an outline of aqua in them. I'm sorry, these are thought bubbles. The other ones were speech bubbles. And then more arrows. Like we saw in last week's video, arrows are hot. Um, another cool thing to use throughout a mini album are these date stamps. Um, this one is from Smash and this one is from American Crafts Dear Lizzie. Um, so these kind of work like just the old fashioned date stamps, but they have all of these really cool sayings on the side. So, um, oh snap, I love this, today is, um, there's a cute little just rectangular empty box that you can fill in to do. Um, this one from the Dear Lizzie collection says, best day ever. There's some designs like little arrows, stitching and little pennants. Uh, there's also a lovely day on this date, photographed on, a day in the life. So they're really versatile and fun to use throughout an a mini album. I haven't tried this yet, um, but this would be a cool piece to use that could give you a long way and um, you can customize things for your mini album, customize titles and words and phrases and sayings. This is a label maker from K and Company in the Smash line. Tools like punches can carry you a long way through an album and these from Jenny Bolin and Fiskers have been really popular. This is a tab punch so it would be fun to just kind of create your own dividers in a mini album or simply just use it as a great um, embellishment behind a photo or something like that. Um, it's just a large squeeze punch. And then we also have, this is the, the blue ribbon punch but I've seen these little um, ribbon 
used as flags or even created a little banner. And I've seen this little starburst circle used as confetti. So um, this is a fun one, or you could certainly make your own little ribbons. I also am drawn to all things girly. So um, these little whimsies from Webster's Pages, I think would be used to, or cool to sprinkle throughout a mini album and you could simply adhere them with glue dots. And they come in a different size. These are the Lotus Whimsies. These are, um, I think they're just called Whimsies, but all different colors. Um, some also some cool things to use throughout an album. These I love these hand stitch tags from Amy Tangerine. They're exclusive to us, um, and they're hand and made. So um, it's got that homespun feel on them, and it'd be cool to just you put this in a binder, put it in the ring. Um, it's sometimes. I don't have a lot to say for journaling, but the words on these can really help tell your story. So there's enjoy, life, smile, and in all different colors. There's a pink, a green, this is brown hello, it's like a dark chocolate. This pretty blue turquoise is called shine. I think there's also some different words from earlier we had in the year, sweet and love and um, smile, all kinds of things. We also have um, an Amy's Favorite Things embellishment pack. And um, so this kit was assembled and designed by Amy Tangerine. And it has all these cool little bits and pieces in here that would be great to use in a mini album. So there are these handmade um, little yo yo fabric yo yo's. This one has a button and um, it's stitched in the middle. Hand stamped pieces. A little pocket of um, a confetti tag that's already been embellished for you. I love that. There's also a little notebook tag with stickers on it. This great little pocket. There is um, lace, different pieces to add a vintage and homespun feel. Just pretty little details. And then these buttons and sequins are fun too. And then they've got the manila tag with a little airplane at the bottom corner. And I can't forget um, the little travel scissors that Amy likes to take with her when she scrapbooks on the road. Um, or just getting those fine details cut with these fun little scissors. So this is the Amy's Favorite Things set. And you can only get it at two peas. It's exclusive to us. All right. So another great thing to include in mini albums are washi tapes. And I've shown you lots of different kinds before, and we're always adding new styles to the store. So I wanted to show you some cute new styles that we've added. I love this orange scalloped version, pink with white stripe. There's a couple black and white versions. This little um, heart on the red I think is adorable. Black and white chevron, a lace, purple lace scallop, and then this one is a fun and playful one. It's a confetti tape. So these can get, give you a long way on your projects. Um, some other things that I thought I wanted to um, point out that are great for mini albums are stamps and especially sets that are designed um, with like a variety of styles on the one sheets. So you get a lot for your money. Um, so this one is actually another exclusive. This one is from Studio Calico and Hero Arts so you can find it um, just at two peas and it's been really popular. We're seeing it um, in a lot of orders. So it has this really cool Polaroid frame in a chevron pattern um, with a little space to jot down a cool little note. Smile, this is an adventure. All I need is, I love that little phrase saying and you can fill in the blank. Go see, do little vintage hand. You can fill in the month, day, and of year, morning, afternoon, night. This is great for project life. You've got a set of numbers. Um, today, a little circle, good. Um, 
So they've packed a lot on here and I love these kinds of sets because they are so versatile and you can use them um, over and over and over again in a mini album or other project. Um, so some other Studio Calico sets th um, that are just kind of, have this kind of style. Um, this one is the Hey Y'all. There's a man and a woman. You've got your, your speech bubbles here, a few cool phrases. That's what she said. Look at this. Hey Y'all, life is better with friends. And then this large um, journaling block on the side that's pretty substantial size. This one is the Please Note. And here's a block can see the, the background. Um, this isn't to scale. We see this approved one used a lot. I love that little please note over here. A paper clip. These numbers can be used for so many different things. I like the little journal circle set. Days of the week with a fun outline font where each letter is kind of overlapping. Then this one is Wonderful Wonderful World, and here's another Polaroid kind of version. We have a couple cameras that work well for anything, really. And then there's um, a couple different things that just relate well to um, themes like journey and adventure and just different things. Travel, um, let's find a beautiful place and get lost. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. So lots of great phrases and sayings in these. Allie Edwards and um, Stamps with Technique Tuesday also work well, especially if your mini album or your project is like an everyday life or project life kind of theme. This one has lots of great sayings like learn something new every single day, loving this experience called life. This is learn some, it's called learn something. It has a, this cool globe and hourglass. This one is simple joy, it has all of these sayings. Um, just about everyday life kind of sentiments. This one um, is a little bit more bold and has the the in the reverse type, so you get that big great block of circle and color in your ink. And then I liked these from Hampton Arts and Doodlebug. Um, I think that all the borders that you get in this set can be used over and over and just. Um, really you get a lot in one set so um, just having a fun little detail on the edges and borders of your projects I thought this was a good one. The same for this um, label set that I'm trying to see what the name is um, but I'll just be sure to link it below. Um, lots of just different great styles, rectangles, squares, and circles with different styles of frames around them that make a great home for journaling or just jotting a little note or even creating your own embellishment. I also want to point out these journaling pads from Kane Company and Smash. There's all different styles. So this one is the quote. This one is entertainment, family, special occasions, favorite person. There's a blank set and then top 10. So I'll just kind of go through and show you. I open them up so you can see. They give you a few different styles of each design and each pad. Quick, quick, write that good idea down. Yes, for note taking, so super important. They've just um, done a really good job of including some really cool graphics on these and prompts and sayings. Um, so this one is favorite person, works well for documenting like a friendship or um, a significant other, drives me crazy when you, you could certainly, you know, cover part, portions of these up if maybe the sentiment doesn't work for what you're doing because um, there's other cool graphical pieces on here that you can definitely layer and make things your own. I'll, I'll show you this family one. So all of us have family. Top 10 family memories to make. The kind of parent I want to be. I got into big trouble when great piece of family wisdom. This was the best part at grandma's house. So lots of great prompts, different things. Um, so I think journaling 
um, pieces, journaling cards, different die cuts if you're looking for different embellishment pieces. I would search for um, die cuts and different ex like accents like that because um, they can carry you just different paper pieced elements can carry you a long ways in a mini album. Also from Smash are these cool little um, fabric tabs and captions um, so you can fold these over and you get 12 different pieces in here and then you can jot a little note and they have these little um, brads with them. And last but not least, if you don't feel like kind of creating your own mini album, um, if you don't feel like shopping for all of the pieces to go in one and you just want all the work done for you, we have this awesome new kit from Studio Calico that's exclusive to Two Peas in a Bucket. June 1st will be um, beginning a workshop called Pieces of Me. It's a mini album workshop, so it's focused on making a mini album with um, Maggie Holmes and this is the kit that Studio Calico put together that Maggie will be using in the workshop. You don't have to get the kit to take the workshop and you don't have to get the workshop to buy the kit. You can buy them separately or do both if you'd like but um, this is definitely a worthwhile kit to check out. It comes with this little bitty stamp um, that says I love. It has a heart and an arrow and a smile. And then all of these really great pieces. You get so much in one kit. Um, so you can, it comes with these binder rings so you can punch holes and customize the album and make up your own album. There's also, I don't want to lose any of these pieces, little brads and little badges. This looks like it was taken from a vintage book little note card, um, different sequins, pieces, a whole pack of wood veneer arrows and hearts, lots of different twine and ribbon, and these resin flowers. You get the paper clips with little felt bows on them. Um, these cool old dictionary pages. Just give it cool element to your album. Um, and then we'll open up this little bag of goodies. So there's lots of stuff in here. Little um, sticker labels, doilies, um, these envelopes from Whiskers Graphics, manila tags. You get a th um, there's a couple here of each color. Little library and manila envelope. A few different styles of envelopes. Pockets. A vellum envelope. And this one is like an off-white. An alphabet sticker set. Um, the smaller version and then this 12 by 12, the great versatile kind of neutral fonts. And they've pulled together a great color palette that just um, works really well with everything they've done here. Oop, that was a studio. I grabbed two pieces of paper and one. There's the wood veneer. This Plano pattern. polka dot, love the, the colors, love all the little composition journaling sections, and that is a wrap for the Pieces of Me kit. So um, a great value, it's, I love it, I'm thinking I might just have to pick one up myself. Um, so that is a wrap for today's video. As always, we associate a prize with a video. So um, just leave a comment telling me what you'd like to see in an upcoming personal shopper video and you could win this Russell and Hazel um, mini binder. I love it, I have one myself. And this one, um, this Brad set from Pebbles. I love the little floral glittered embellishments. So um, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.